Did Philippine SC uphold a $345,000 U.S. arbitral award against a local insurer, defying public policy concerns? Learn how the Supreme Court decided this case with Title Pioneer Insurance Insurity Corporation versus the insurance company successor by merger to Clearwater Insurance Company GR No. 256177, June 27, 2022. This is the 25th of the 160 case decided by Associate Justice Mario Lopez, the 2024 Bar Exam Chairman. Subscribe now. Facts of the case. Pioneer Insurance and Surety Corporation, Pioneer, is a domestic corporation in the Philippines engaged in selling non-life insurance. Clearwater Insurance Company, previously known as Odyssey Reinsurance Corporation and Scandier America Reinsurance Corporation, is a foreign corporation organized in Delaware, USA. The case revolves around an arbitration dispute originating from a reinsurance agreement known as the First Surplus Share Capacity, SK-100 Retrocession Agreement No. 9166, SK-100 Agreement, executed on July 1, 1973. This agreement was between Clearwater and several insurance and reinsurance companies, including Pioneer. Pioneer agreed to assume a 1% share of the interests and liabilities in the SK-100 agreement from Clearwater. Disputes arose over the payment obligations under this agreement, leading to arbitration proceedings in New York. Pioneer failed to participate in these proceedings, and the arbitration panel issued a final award on April 25, 2013, ordering Pioneer to pay a total amount of $344,991.68 to Clearwater. Clearwater then sought to have this arbitral award recognized and enforced in the Philippines. Pioneer opposed this on several grounds, including public policy and the alleged violation of the verification and certification against forum shopping requirements. Primary issue in the Supreme Court The primary issue before the Supreme Court was whether the arbitral awards confirmation, recognition, and enforcement in the Philippines were contrary to public policy or the Philippine Constitution. Decision of the Supreme Court The Supreme Court affirmed the decisions of the lower courts, holding that the enforcement of the Foreign Arbitral Award was not contrary to public policy. It rejected Pioneer's arguments regarding the violation of procedural requirements and prescription. The court emphasized the state's policy favoring arbitration and the enforcement of arbitral awards, adopting a narrow approach to the public policy exception to enforcement of foreign arbitral awards. Important doctrines 1. Recognition of foreign arbitral awards. The court highlighted that Philippine courts could recognize and enforce foreign arbitral awards unless doing so would be contrary to public policy. 2. Narrow approach to public policy exception. The court adopted a narrow interpretation of the public policy exception, stating that mere errors in law or factual findings in an arbitral award do not suffice to warrant its refusal of enforcement. The illegality or immorality of the award must be such that its enforcement would fundamentally violate the state's principles of justice and morality. 3. Promotion of arbitration. The decision reinforces the state's policy of promoting arbitration as an efficient and effective means of dispute resolution, emphasizing respect for party autonomy in the arbitration process. 4. Non-applicability of strict court procedures to arbitration awards. The court noted that the requirements of clearly stating the facts and law, as applicable to court judgments, do not apply to arbitral awards. This principle underscores the distinction between court procedures and arbitration proceedings.